Hi beautifuls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Finn. I post content roughly twice a week, sometimes a little bit less, but whatever. In today's video, I am so excited and I hope that that transpires because I am just so excited for this. So, as you can see by the title, today we are having a look at the I Heart Revolution by Disney Storybooks and we've got the Bell one from Beauty and the Beast. I stumbled across this at three o'clock in the morning on a night shift thinking, I've not seen these before. I just thought I'd have a look at the website, realized they were on there, realized that they were new, looked on their Instagram for, oh, this is new, ordered it. It literally, I ordered this three o'clock in the morning, not last night, the night before, and it's here. I am buzzing, cannot wait. Let's get into it. So, I Heart Revolution came out with this uh, Disney storybook kind of thing. I'll pop some pictures here. So they've got a Princess and the Frog one, they've got a Cinderella one, and then they've got the Belle one. And they've come out with not just the face and the eye palettes, they've also got highlighters, they've got some lip toppers, they've got separate highlighters. It's all so stunning. They have done such a good job with the decor, the aesthetic, looks amazing. And it's really actually quite affordable considering it's I Heart Revolution by Disney. So the face and the eyeshadow palettes are £15 each. The highlighters, I think they were £8 each. Lip toppers were five or each. And then they also have eyelashes. Now, today I've only bought the one face and eyeshadow palette. And to be honest, I had to get it because Beauty and the Beast is the best Disney film. It's honestly one of my favourite Disney films of all time. And I just love it. I absolutely love it. So I had to buy it. So without further ado, it's been two and a half minutes of me rambling. Let's show you the palette. So here's what the box looks like. They have put so much effort into making this look absolutely stunning. Like even down to like the sides, they've made it look like a proper book. So, so excited. Here's what the front looks like. How glitzy is that? So, so pretty. Then you've got the spine of the book, the back. I even love the pages because the pages are this beautiful gold color. How stunning. It's just so pretty. And to be fair, to be honest, this is a really quite a weighty palette. It's not like overly heavy, but it's also not super light. Like you know that they've put stuff in there, if that makes any sense. I like a weighty eyeshadow palette. I don't like anything that's too light. It is so pretty. I absolutely love it. So let's just take you through this first page. So on the first page we have, oh, lighting the 18 eyeshadows. I'll do some swatches in a minute, but we've got the 18 eyeshadows. They're very, very much Bellesque colours, Beauty and the Beast colours. You've got all of like the nudes, the blending tones. You've got some proper brights. This blue here looks absolutely stunning. Can't wait to see how that swatches. And then on the next page, we have the face shades. So we have three blusher shades uh, in different shades. Duh. And three highlight shades. This is the reason I didn't buy the separate highlight you get three there so you don't need it and like I said all of this was £15 so for the aesthetic the packaging and everything you get I feel like that could be worth it but we need to see how it performs so let's run a couple of swatches and if you can see if I zoom you in a bit more they are all named after characters out of the, the film and the book so yeah you've got Bell, Library, West Wing, Rose, Ballroom, Enchantress looks so, so pretty. Spell, Beast, Chip, Beauty, and then like these are named Bonjour, Be Our Guest, Maurice, True Love, something there, and Taylor's Oldest Time. Okay, I think they feel like they're going to be buildable. Let's go over one more time. And Enchantress is super pretty, like that is, ah, I can't wait to pop that on my face. Oh wow, they are, that magic mirror is freaking phenomenal, look how shiny that is, that's beautiful. I want to try everything and I can't. I might do a different eye, 
I might do it that way. So on the first eye, yeah, let's do it that way so I can try as many colours as I, as I need to try. I'm going to firstly get a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Mrs. Pot. How cute are these names? Oh, there's a bit of kickback. I'm going to pop that in my crease. Just so you guys know, I have done my base, I've done my um, eyebrows and I've put a tiny bit of that Winky Lux concealer on my eyelids. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but I've done that. These two shades, Library and Mrs. Potts, are definitely just transition shades. There's not a great deal there. You can kind of see it, but it's not. It's more of just a blendy shade. I'm going to take the shade in, 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 I'm going to take the shade in, I can't say it. I'm going to take the shade Enchantress, there we go, and pop that in my crease, but I'm going to blend it up and out with the shade Belle. Okay, I'm now going to take the shade Belle, we're going to blend that up and out. Yeah, I like that. That is really pretty. There's not fallout. There's a tiny bit of kickback in the pan, but there's not a great deal of fallout. I'm just gonna get a clean brush, sort out my inner corner, and blend it up and out a tiny bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of the colour grey stuff and pop that in my inner corner and the outer and then in the middle I want to do a bit like a halo eye and just put a little bit of beauty in there. I think the yellow and the blue will go well together, um, but let's just attempt. Mm, there's not a lot of pigment with this one. What I'm going to do instead is that I'm going to put the Enchantress colour back in my outer corner. And then I'm going to cut the crease and put beauty over the cut. Let's cut it quickly, I'll be right back. Yeah, it's pretty. I, now I'm going to go in with the dark blue under my lower lash line. Do I want dark blue? Yeah, I do. And then I'm going to fade that into the light blue underneath. Right, that is one eye done. The next eye, I think I'm going to go for the more pinky tones. It's going to be the same kind of like cut crease vibey thing, whatever I'm doing but more of the pinky tones. So I'm going to be taking the shade Library again. Let's just pop that all over me. I think I'm going to take the shade Rosé, which is a gorgeous like red toned colour. And then I'm going to blend it up and out with the shade West Wing, um, popping that in my crease. I find that cheap palettes really struggle to get a good red. This isn't doing bad considering the price. Oh, I love it, I actually love that colour, that works so well. I'm going to take the shade of West Wing, which is a gorgeous pink colour, and just blend that up and out. I'm going to take the shade Petal, beautiful like forward pinky colour, and pop that on my inner corner and on the outer corner. Then, for a kind of halo eye, I want to put Magic Mirror, that gorgeous white tone, on the middle. So let's do that, see how that looks. Right, I'm gonna go in with the shade Gaston, same kind of colour but a little bit deeper, hopefully it'll sharp it more. That's better. Let's try my finger. Oh, there we go, that's better. I'm now gonna use the gorgeous white foil magic mirror and pop that over the centre like a halo eye. I think that's stunning, so let's try that.
Oh wow. So, we're going to take the shade Beast, put that on my lower lash line and try and blend that out with the shade Rosé, see where that goes. I still haven't used that gorgeous spell colour, but I only have so many eyes. Right guys, there's the eyeshadows tried and tested, except for a couple. I'll do the rest and then my mascara, then I'll get back to my final thoughts about what I think. But so far so good i think right next up i want to pop on a little bit of blush i'm gonna sort of mix them all up to be honest i end up doing that with my blushes if you guys do that let me know down below i never just settle for one shade it's like oh a bit of that bit of that bit of that mix it up chuck it on um it makes me feel like an artist even though i'm not i'm just indecisive <laughs> that's quite picky uppy isn't it That is such a beautiful shade though. If you've been here for a while, you know what my favourite part of the face is. My favourite part of the face is the highlight. So let's see how this highlight pans out. I'm going to take the Be Our Guest highlight because I think that is quite nice. A neutral and white and I'm going to pop that on my nose and on my cheeks. Oh, it looks white in the pan but it's gold outside. Oh, I love it. Nice. Let's take the True Love one and pop that on my nose. Okay, so that one's not as vibrant, but good for like an everyday look. And then let's take Taylor's Oldest Time and pop that on my cupid bow. Very, very gold one. Very gold. Right guys, this is the absolute final look after using the Belle palette. I love the palette, I love the aesthetics, I love how it looks. The only thing I'm going to say about this palette is that you're going to have to learn what ones you can use with a brush and what ones you can use with a finger and how best to apply it because some of them blended out really really well, some went on perfectly with a finger, some I needed to have a brush. Um, so yeah, it's the same as any, any palette really, you're going to have to sort of learn how to use it. but. Pigment payoff is a bonus. I really, really like the colours. I love this eye. I love, love, love the blues. Um, I think that the depth is beautiful. And then when you look at this one, very, very nude, warm toned, beautiful. I love it. Moving on to the face side of things. The blushes are gorgeous. They're not too pink and they're not too like nude. They're bang on the money. They're right in the middle. Love it. And then onto the highlighters. Again, stunning. There's only one, actually. Taylor's Old As Time, I don't think does very, very much on my skin. I think if you've got a darker skin tone, it would look gorgeous. But on my skin tone, it just doesn't really look great on me. Be Our Guest and True Love are stunning colours. Absolutely love it. And there's some kickback. There is some kickback, and a couple of colours had a tiny bit of fallout. Nothing horrendous, like I said. It's just a little bit. Aesthetically, it's so pretty. How stunning. It's just so pretty. So yeah, I Heart Revolution, you did a bloody good job at this. I love it. Let me know down below if you have picked up anything from this collection. If you have done, let me know what it is. I honestly think the Princess and the Frog palette was the nicest looking out of all of them, but I've never seen the film and I, I didn't want to get more than one. Belle was going to be the winner. Clear as day, Belle was the winner. So yeah, that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this YouTube video. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit the like button. It helps me out so much. And if you're new here and you want to come back for some more, then please hit the subscribe button down below. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe, keep well. If you need anything, hit me up. And hopefully I'll see you guys again in the next video. Until then, love you, bye.